Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. In this episode, I'll show you how to configure lag, LAG, or link aggregation group. So what is lag? Basically, in a nutshell, it as the term implies, it is the aggregation or bundling or combining of multiple physical ports to form a single lag interface. So the use case for this is mainly to increase the bandwidth between the connected devices. But another benefit is for failover and backup connectivity and in this video I will show you how that is done okay so one thing that I would like to emphasize is I just added this particular line in here to show you what I plan to do during the demonstration of this particular video this is just a temporary uplink to demonstrate how lag works you can see here that I have a D-Link device I will use port 2 and 3 to configure the link aggregation protocol so by combining this two one gigabit port I will have a two gigabit uplink from D-Link to the switch this will also serve as a failover or a backup line or uplink in case one of the link broke I will still have full functionality and capability and uplink although it's reduced to half performance by using another uplink Okay, so this is the targeted uplink or physical connectivity from the SG2210 MPT link device to D-Link DGS1100-08 P manage switch. One thing I would like to emphasize as well is that I will use these two switches for demonstration purposes. Okay, these two switches are configured similarly, but there are a little bit difference with them. So ignore these two uplink in port 1 i use this so that i don't have to keep changing my ip whenever i'm connecting to umada and then i'm connecting to these switches it will not interfere with the demonstration purposes so for the link aggregation configuration these two and port 2 and port 3 will be uplink in these two cables in here that i have pre-connected here to the switch so later on i'll just plug it there so these two ports will have lag configured and these two ports will have lag configured. For this one, I believe I have three independent VLANs connected. That will be VLAN 60, 70, and 80, and I will show you how that one works. And the other one will be configured as a lag, but there's only one VLAN flowing into that single uplink. The purpose of the demonstration is to show you that for the lag, you can have multiple VLANs or you can have a single VLAN. Oh, for the demonstration purposes, I'm using port 2 to port 7. This port 1 and port 8 are of different VLANs. So before we head further in this video, I want to ask for your help that if you find this episode helpful and useful, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell to help the channel. For those who have already done so, thank you so much. Okay, so let's get on with the Umada console. Okay, so as you can see, I have the devices here, ER8411, SG2210MP, and EAP235. So we're not going to touch the router or the gateway as well as the access point. We're just going to worry about this particular switch as per our lab design. And it might be interesting for you to see how my dealing switches are connected. Okay, I'm currently connected to this particular switch. As you can see, this is my PC here. I'm connected to port 8. And you can see that port 8 is currently in VLAN 1. So ignore VLAN 1 and ignore port 1 and port 8. I'm only using that for connectivity purposes so that I can connect to Umada while I'm also connected to these switches. But for demonstration purposes, we're going to use port 5, 6, and 7. The same thing for the other switch up top that is on top of it. But for this particular switch, I'm only going to demonstrate using VLAN 10. So this one is VLAN 10. You can see here and you can see that I have the tag port serum 2 and 3 which is going to be the lag port and the same thing here the tag ports will be 2 and 3 for the lag ports okay so let me go back here to the switch let me go to the 2210 MP let's see if I can show this uh, can, can this yeah you can see these ports in here so these two cables here as you can see I'm not currently connected to anything. Okay. Okay. And if I go to ports, those will be ports, currently ports 
4 and 5. It's currently connected and configured for as an access port for home VLAN and for as an isolated port VLAN 70. So click your switch. Okay, click your port. And then identify the port that you want to configure as a lag. In this particular case, I identified port 4 and 5. I click edit. Okay. And make sure that if this profile operates is not selected, make sure to click it. Okay. So that you can go to clicking the aggregating portion of it here. From there, once you select it, it will ask you which port needs to be selected to create a static lag. For now, we're going to create a static lag. Okay, so let's do this. And I selected that one. And I'm going to select lag ID 1. And I'm going to click static lag. Okay, so as you can see here, port 4 and 5, click apply. You can see it's ports 4 and 5 says lag. And then if I go here to click lag, it will show me this one, okay? So this one, I would like to apply the profile home. Okay, so the profile home is currently defined in here, which is this two, this switch, this particular switch. Okay, that's where the profile home is, VLAN 10. And you can see here ports 2 and 3 are the tag VLAN ports. So I'm going to connect one here okay. let me check my IP address so currently I'm in the inner land I'm in the this 201 VLAN I'm currently here I'll show you I'll ping google.com you can see here I'm connected and then now I'm going to disconnect here okay. this one okay, and this is general failure and if I connect here you will see that I will still be in that particular villa in the inner villa and I will be able to ping google.com just check out that one again let's check our IP address okay I'm still in the 201 VLAN I'm still in the inner LAN okay and I'm going to remove this now I'm disconnected from the inner LAN okay. and you will see that this is a quest time doubt all of these ports are connected for this particular switch it's VLAN 10 so once I move here let's try this one okay. you can see here that I have reconnected here you can see and then my IP address should be coming from VLAN 10 coming from the outer LAN. You can see here, there you go, 192.168.10.101. Okay. And you can see here, 192.168.10.101. Okay. And you can see here, because 8 and 5, 6, and 7. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So any ports from 5, 6, and 7 will be belonging to VLAN 10. And I will show you the uh, failover scenario for this one. So this is not a loop. Okay, so this is the aggregation. So it's now, I have a two gigabit uplink from the link switch to my TP link switch. Okay, so if I disconnect one cable from here, look at what happened to the console. And you can see there's a press timeout and immediately, you know, recover. Now what happens if I remove both of them of course there will be no more uplink so now it will be completely down okay and I will bring one of the uplink back there you 
well. And I can just quickly put it back without any ill effect for the operation of this particular switch. And you will see that I will still have that IP address all the same. So I have demonstrated to you the link aggregation, the failover, and the automatic backup capability of lag. Hit OK. And so let's see. So this one is just one VLAN. So I prefer this one to show you that it works for multiple VLAN as well. So let me go to the Umad switch okay, and configure this profile. As you can see here, the profile here is like this. Okay. So to prevent me from getting disconnected, I'll bring back my app in here. Okay. So I'll move back my PC back here. Okay. And I'm going to disconnect this for the time being. Okay. So that I can show you the other part of the demonstration. So let's see if I'm back online. And let's see if I'm back with my inner LAN IP. Yep, 201, I'm in the inner LAN IP. Okay. So let me refresh this link. Go to 2210 MP again. Then go to ports. And then go to lag. Again, like I said, this is currently configured for VLAN 10. That's why the, the IP that I'm getting is VLAN 10. So let's select multiple VLAN profile. So I'm selecting here VLAN 60, 70, and 80. Why? Okay, so if I review what is that particular profile, I will go to wire networks, I will go to LAN, I will go to profile, okay. And this one was the profile that we were on originally for the first lag. If I click my, the view here, you can see here that it's the VLAN 10 home, native, and VLAN 10 home for the untagged. But for the VLAN 60, 70, and 80, if I go here, you can see this is the current profile that I have for the lag. Okay, you can see here, I still have VLAN 1 in here. I could probably change it to a different one, but I'll keep it here. But I have tag 60, 70, and 80 which works just fine for our configuration as you can see here 60 70 and 80 are all tag ports tag vlan in ethernet 2 and 3 so that should be okay so let's go back to the device let me make sure that i'm in the 60 70 and 80 can i yep it does show it in here okay that's four or five how I'm pinging I'm still pinging just fine so once I remove this I will be disconnected from that network and let me just bring back the old one so I don't confuse myself which cable I remove and which one so you can see that it's already disconnected so now, so I believe this one is VLAN 60, VLAN 70, and VLAN 80. So let me try VLAN 60 first. So you can see that there is a reply. So let's check our IP. I'm in VLAN 16, as you can see here. Okay, so now I'll move to a different VLAN. There. And this one will be VLAN 70. Okay. 
And last but not the least. Villain 80. As you can see it's Villain 80 in here. Okay. And just the same, it will have the same functionality. Okay. So this one seems to be the primary. Okay, so you can see there's just light change in her. So let me remove this one and it will completely disconnect. Okay, and let me bring this one back up. Okay. again let's do a final configuration again let's do it one more time okay I have recovered okay let's do that again ports lag I will edit this to be VLAN 10 Apply. Okay. I'm going to do it fast this time around. And remove this. And remove this one. And now, like I said, it's five, six, and seven. They are all VLAN 10. As you can see here on the console, I'm currently disconnected at this time. So let me just check. So you can see I'm connected, disconnected. But all these three ports will be VLAN 10. So if I connected it there. You can see here, it applies. And my IP will be VLAN 10 here. And that 101. The same thing for all these three ports. So earlier, I just used one port. But now I'm going to show you I'm using all reports okay let's check the IP should it should not change then we can have one last but not the least another one So my cables are failing now. I may have to re-terminate the cable. Um, but yeah, let's hope it doesn't completely fail on me at this time. Come on. And the cable is... Uh, Failing on me, turn it on again. Okay. okay, so I'm adding this part of the video because I missed covering this during the first recording. Previously, to check the status of lag, you have to go to the device, click ports, and then you can check the lag status here, or you can check the lag status here. But you can actually check it as well under insights so if you go to insights and you can check the status of your switch port by checking the switch status and check the mode of your port you can see here if it's a poe it shows the wattage being supplied to that particular port and for the lag you can see it's aggregating I think that's uh, pretty much it for lag. Hope you learned something from this video. If you like it, please give it a like. Thanks again for watching my videos. Thank you and bye-bye.